Hey everybody, just wanted to take a few minutes to go over my Pixel 8 running Graphene OS. It's been a little under two years now running this software, so I just wanted to give some feedback on it and uh, go over my current setup. Went with the Pixel 8, previously had the Pixel 7, wanted to go with a little bit of a smaller phone and uh, just a few features on the Pixel 8 that I liked over the 7. Uh, one thing I noticed with some of the tutorial videos I've seen in the past is the phone isn't really set up. It's got more of a basic layout, so mine's a little more customized. Got a nice wallpaper here, fingerprint reader. Once you unlock it, I keep it pretty simple on the home screen because most of the apps I need to get to are right here or I have them up here anyways. But it's basically a Pixel. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to really cover any setup information or any install information or really what the purpose of it is. I'm just going to kind of go over how I have mine set up. So phone down here, messages, this phone messages combo I've had my whole entire life. So it's just muscle memory, camera, gallery, and then just a little folder full of apps that I use pretty often. Um, biggest question I get when I tell people about this is can you use the Pixel camera? And the answer is yes, you can download the Google camera and you have all of your night mode and Google apps and stuff like that. So you retain all the Pixel features and you just get some added security benefits. Android 14, you can obviously customize this, but basic Pixel layout. Um, you got your home screen here, you swipe up, get a list of your apps, swipe down, get rid of them. Uh, just kind of a quick overview of some of the apps that I'm running. So black and white ones are ones that come on the phone. You can't really mess with too much. You have your file manager, phone messages, gallery, obviously. Um, Google camera up here. The Graphene OS camera is getting better, um, but the Google camera still retains some of the features that I like to use. Uh, the apps that I use for my Garmin watch, that was a big deciding factor in me actually getting the software in the first place, but my Garmin app is fully compatible. Um, got a basic weather app instead of the standard Google or Samsung weather that I'm used to. Um, Lightroom for some basic photo editing. Something to note on these apps is you have the ability to run storage scopes. And what you can do is if I don't want to give Lightroom access to a whole entire gallery or even a whole entire folder, I can add individual files. That way the app thinks it has access to my gallery and I can still retain most of the features, but I'm not showing the app my whole phone. Uh, and that's going to work the same for, uh, you know, social media apps, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, Google Maps, I was running a different version of uh, map software, but I just went for Google Maps. Um, got a keyboard down here, got a Onyx Hunt app, Outlook. This is what I run my uh, work email and my Gmail off of and seems to run just fine. Um, Play Store, Settings, Signal... Snapchat, Spotify, a couple random apps. Banking apps work just fine. If you run into any problems, typically what you do is you press and hold, go to app info, and there's this little uh, toggle switch down here. Um, for example, my Wells Fargo app wasn't working. Had to switch this on, uh, force stop the app, reopen it, works just fine. That's typically the issue for most apps if they're not running, and that's just the nature of uh, how the software runs. But it's pretty simple. Um, you can choose to run it basically two ways. You can run it super secure and get all your apps from APKs, or you can sign into your Gmail account with this uh, sandbox version of the Play Store, and you can use that to uh, still log into your Gmail and get your apps and stuff like that from the actual Play Store. Um, it's pretty much it. Just a quick overview. Um, no complaints, really. There's a couple bugs and glitches, but that's usually fixed with a software update, or it's usually... Uh, user error, but I mean, it's basically a Pixel, just runs a little bit safer, a little bit less going on in the background. Um, battery life seems fine, camera quality is good, I like kind of the size and the shape of the Pixel phone, they seem to fit in the hand pretty well, nice and compact. Um, I think that camera bar does pretty well as far as, you know, just how it's laid out and the overall design of things, so it's good that the phone has decent hardware. I miss a couple things about my Samsung phone, but uh, yeah, just a quick overview of the Pixel. If anyone has any questions, you can throw them in the comments. Um, I do have a video that I posted a while back of an older setup that was running more of a lockdown version of Graphene, um, a little bit of a different setup. So this is kind of the one I've been running for the last year or so, honestly, and it hasn't really 
given me any issues at all. Um, there is a uh, Graphene OS forum that's really helpful with uh, questions and comments and concerns. Questions are answered pretty easily. Uh, even some responses from developers in there. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Do some research. Um, Isaac Botkin of T-Rex Arms has a couple good vid videos covering it. And if you just search Graphene OS, um, you might see my video and you'll see a few others. So do a little bit of research. It'll run on any pixel that's newer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it.